foodie fam, this food review is 100% for you guys. Let me tell you why, yo. Let me, let me just be 100 if I can rock with you for a moment. You all watch my videos, you share my videos, you comment in the comment section below, you beat these things up with a thumbs up. And it's not too often, I mean aside from the energy and the entertainment, it's not too often that I do anything for my foodie fam. I mean sure, I do a couple events here and there and I have you guys through for those of you that can actually make it out to Connecticut or those of you that can actually make it to New York, but that's not the case for all of you. A lot of you don't even get to attend my events. so. This is my way of being able to give back to you because I know a lot of you get down with tomatoes, AKA the red ring of death. A lot of you get down with lettuce, AKA crunchy water, black beans, sour cream, guacamole. A lot of you get down with that stuff and me, it's just not my thing. It's just not how your boy gets down in these streets. It doesn't sit right with my system. Like a lot of people think I be playing around when I say, yo, if I eat it, I will throw up. I will literally throw up. It's happened. That's why I don't eat tomatoes. I don't eat lettuce. Many of you don't think nothing of you like, damn, but it's normal, it's natural, blah, blah, blah. My body reacts real wild style to a lot of fruits and vegetables out there. And I know it sounds crazy, but probably because I've been plugging myself for so long with the straight meat life. My body has rejected everything that's possibly really good for me. I don't, I mean, you, like, those that are actually around me on a consistent basis, they've seen it. The only way I can stop it from happening, I literally have to drink a Sprite right after beating up some fruits and vegetables just to keep it down. It's crazy. It, it really is. I don't know. There may be some changes coming in the near future. I also want to give a quick shout out to my main man, Steven, AKA Boogie2988 right here on YouTube. Let me get this done and out the way. Boo, what up baby? Shout out to my main man that has been going through mentally and physically with his weight over the years and still bringing entertainment on this YouTube platform. Shout out to my brother right there. Boog and I have been rocking at various events. We get down, I talk to him off this platform. That's my man, 100 grand right there. But, let me tell you something. That man right there, you don't understand what he goes through on a day-to-day -day basis. People think this YouTube thing is sweet. People really think, that just because you see us a certain way on screen, that once we're off doing the regular thing called life, that is easy and it's not easy for a lot of individuals. It's not easy to get from point A to point B for a lot of individuals. And when my main man Steven, AKA Boogie2988, made the announcement on Twitter that his doctor has cleared him to get the weight loss surgery, yo B, rocking with you the long way. Rocking with you. I can't wait for it to go down. We're all with you. We're all rooting for you. We're all cheering for you. You know what I'm saying? Bettering his health. Getting himself right. You know what I'm saying? To go in the right direction. And so when I do this food review, although I know what's going to happen, unless I beat up a Sprite, I'm doing it for the foodie fam. But in retrospect, in reality, I'm actually doing this for myself, B, because as my main man Steven, AKA Boogie2988, AKA Francis, as he's making his life changes for his own health, there may be some things slowly changing about this channel. I know you guys don't like when I jump out the window and just try to do mad healthy things. Y'all like, ah, we ain't here for that, Dame. We didn't sign up for that. We're not rocking with you. Hope you get better in life and all, but we're just not here for it. Do it on a different channel. Like, it's gonna be a slow transition. But we're gonna figure something out, baby. Oh, oh, your boy got some things up the sleeves. Now, I gave y'all crazy, dumb, wild energy. I gotta open the window or something, because I am hot in a month. Why I got on this hot hoodie? Why I got on this hot hoodie? Can I get some air? Ooh, your boy needs some air. Oh, there we go. With all that said, thanks for listening. Now, let's get into this food review, baby. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, she made me a dame drops back in with another super oh, official. Food review, kid, take a baby. I know you can't. Hey, listen, man. So here it is, the power menu bowl at Taco Bell. 
pico de gallo all in the building. You see those diced tomatoes. You see the onions and the parsley. The steak laying low. Some sour cream. Some guacamole. All right. <laughs> you see the, the little cheddar cheese strands up in there. The romaine lettuce. All right. I already have some chicken and steak on my fork. You can either get the chicken or steak, but you know your boy got to get it all. You do get the option. You got black beans over here, and you got some, some rice, man. All right, so that's what makes up the power menu bowl for the most part. And it looks good. It looks good. But what those flavors do? Real quick while I'm opening this fork, yo. Yo, shout out to the team over here in Plainville at Taco Bell. I love these guys, yo. They, they always give me a hard time when I come in. When I go inside, it don't matter. I could go to the drive through window. They know the voice and then they cracking jokes. I go inside, cracking more jokes and the manager come. She come from out back, back real crazy and wild, but yo, I love the team over here, yo. Even when I be beating stuff up and I give it some like, you know, low grade, low score, they just be like, all right, damn, well, he, he ain't like that. Hopefully he likes this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love that. I love that flow about any given QSR. Not every video is going to be a five all day. Understand that you might get hit with a negative two boo-boo the fool. Or you might get hit with a two-piece or a three-piece or a one-piece. Or I might throw it away or I might throw it back at the establishment and there's a big old stain on the wall outside. You got to wash that off later. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. But... I respect a QSR that understands I do this for the foodie fan, baby. Like, I ain't gonna tell you to go out there and waste your money if I'm getting served up some old raggedy air doll. I ain't gonna tell you to do it. Nah, nah. I got some new Blue Arctic Blast joint. It might be Airhead. The Airhead uh, Blueberry or Raspberry. I'm not too sure. She told me, but you know, I was probably half listening. My bad, my bad. Holla at you, boy. Let's go ahead and take a take a little swiggle. I'll take a little swiggle of this. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that got me right in the feels, right in the eyeball. Caught me right here. Ooh. Ooh, you sour boo. Let me hit you again. Mmm. -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Sk Whoa, you're doing too much. Mind your business. Let's hit um steak, chicken, pico de gallo. Let's get some pico de gallo over here. Get some crunchy water, lettuce, black bean dip. I'm trying to get it all on the fork. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do right by y'all. Alright. Get it all on the fork and somehow make it work. Actually, that's not even half bad. When you get it with the steak and the chicken, and that's your that's your base, that's your little foundation. You hit it with some a little, little little bit of rice. Get the black bean action. That the black beans, you know, that's gonna break up, turn to a little mush party. Get all up on the crunchy water, a little bit of sour cream, ba boo boo, and definitely some guacamole. All right, plow plow plow, ta da, ta da. All right, and get it all up on the fork. Get it all on the fork. Stop playing. Get it all on the fork. All right? Get freaky with it. Get freaky. This right here might be like action-packed ball right before you hit the gym. You see what I'm saying to you? Like, get you right, right before you get up off in the gym and bust down them gains. Tender fender bender on... Our steak and our chicken tender. Season up just a little bit. A little bit of grit from the black bean action. A little bit of grit. The romaine lettuce. Crisp when it's talking to you. Onion breath. And a little tang on the pico de gallo. And a little ooey. From the guacamole. Oh, we from the guacamole. You heard what I said to you. The power menu bowl at Taco Bell is high, baby. Like, I'm talking about 
Why did I wait so long to get down with the get down? Why did I play around with the get down on the power boat? How come someone didn't hit me in the comments? I don't remember nobody in the comment section saying, Dame, slide to your nearest Taco Bell and get up on the power boat. Nobody said that to your boy. Y'all be wanting me to go to spots I don't even have in Connecticut, but nobody ever said, yo, get up on that chicken kid. Nobody said that. Nobody said get up on that chicken and steak combo with a little bit of sour cream and go walk a bullet. Nobody said that. I, I just like it. It's fresh. It tastes, it tastes like you're outside in the garden with mama. You know what I'm saying? You got the gloves on. You got the little hoe in your hand. You're busting all up in the dirt. You know, dirt don't hurt. You know, I remember dropping things as a kid back in the day. You about to have that candy bar, but boop, boop, candy bar fall out your hands. You know what it is. You got the three second count. Pick that candy bar up. Uh, come on, kiss it up to the sky. Come on, kiss it up to the sky one time and then eat that candy bar. Kids be dropping stuff now. <laughs> Nah, man, kiss that thing up to the sky and hit that little dirt don't hurt. But don't stop playing around. That's where most of your, your fruits and vegetables is coming from anyway. Wash them things off and then beat them things up. So listen, Taco Bell, for your power menu bowl that I told her to add chicken to my steak bowl to, for the flavors, the consistency, which isn't too bad, the bite of delight that's within, I'm gonna mess around and give it a four. I'm gonna give something that I know off the top, I normally dislike and disapprove of, I'm gonna give it a four. Your boy's not 100% a hater. Mm. All right, Taco Bell, you just showed your boy a different side of the game. I gotta put some respect on your name for that right there. I'm not 100% a hater. I think this bowl was just a little bit greater. This is the type of bowl that you might wanna savor the flavor for later, my neighbor. Foodie fam, thanks for rocking out with your boy. Again, this food review is just for you guys. Just my way of saying thank you. You know, I know a lot of you gotta endure me taking things off of sandwiches, and I know you hate it, but I love it, that's just how I get down. But you guys still rock with your boy. You still look forward to the next video. You still share that out. You still comment on that. You still support my brand of madness. And here we are, like seven and a half years later, still busting it down. So I greatly appreciate every last one of you guys. That's why I want to do this special food review. If you've already had the power menu either steak or power menu chicken bowl in the comment section below please let me know your thoughts on this thing thing a lot of you guys are taking it to the next level on twitter and you're sending me pictures of things that i review saying whether you loved or whether you hated it so if you want to do that because i do respond baby hit me on twitter at dame drops send me a picture like if i just reviewed this joint and you go get this joint tomorrow yo make sure on twitter at Dame Drops, you sent me a picture of yours and let your boy know. Did you grade it the same? Did yours get a four? Did yours get a five all day? Or was it a negative two? Boo boo the fool. You gotta let your boy know. Let's communicate. But you guys are amazing. All right? I love every last one of you guys for all the support, holding your boy down, keeping me crispy in these streets and giving me that motivation, that energy every day to wake up and be like, yo, I gotta go bust down a crazy wild food review. And sometimes they're a win and sometimes they gotta hold the L. They gotta hold the L. Sometimes it happens, but you know how we get down, baby. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, more and more and more. Super, Super Office, Office. Photo of his kid digging baby, I know you can't. Hey, listen, man.